<laughs> you want to say what we're about to do? The spare of the moment? We're going to some, it's like some hotel. It's like a fairy village hotel. It's really weird. <laughs> Did you bring your, your cosplay? Outfit. <laughs> Megan does not like that kind of stuff at all, at all. So we're just gonna. We'll see. We'll we're see gonna see. We'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. We'll go. So you don't have to, unless it's awesome, and then you can go. We'll find out. We will find out. Then a windy road to get here, and Beckett, you don't seem like you want to get out of the car. We'll see. All right, he's a little nervous what this experience is gonna entail, but um. But we're up here, so let's go find out. It's way up here. First impressions were actually quite incredible. It's called Ancient Lore Village and is located in Knoxville, Tennessee, up a very windy road at the very top of a mountain. And I'll be honest, it looks like an actual Hobbit village. Now, technically it's not Hobbits. It's a different lore, but it definitely has a Hobbit and fairy type vibe to it. The rooms are absolutely amazing. We stayed in the Waterfall Villa. It was actually the only room left when we called the book at the last minute, and I felt lucky to get it. It had a really nice bedroom with a kitchen and bathroom, and then in the other room, it had another spacious place with a fold-out bed and its own bathroom and little kitchen area. Perfect for a family or for a romantic getaway for a couple or whatever. There's actually two fireplaces, one in each room as well, as well as a coffee pot so you can make your coffee in the morning and two different dining tables. After some archery and axe throwing, as people do, we went back to our room and then made our way up the hill so that we could have a dining experience. This gave us an opportunity to look at the other villas the villa we were staying at was called the Waterfall Villa, but there was the Fairy Villa and some others. The one on towards the end that kind of looks like a whiskey barrel is actually a general location where all the guests are welcome to come. It has games and stuff like that. So we thought we'd step in there real quick and just take a quick look around. It essentially had some chairs for sitting around, some tables to play the games at, and a bathroom. A great place to meet up and socialize, especially when the weather doesn't permit you to sit around the fire pit. After that, we headed back down the path where we saw what is the biggest accommodation. They say can fit up to eight people. Be a perfect accommodation to get for your family. Everywhere you look is a little tucked away places to sit, relax, get away from everybody else. Almost always with a great view, a fire pit, or some other item to give you a, a nice time. Then we made it back to the building on top of the hill that overlooks it all. Now this is where you check in. It has a nice gift shop, but it also has dining facilities. You must reserve your dining and your meal is made by the local chef and is quite tasty. They put a personal touch to it. And of course you have great views the entire time you eat. After eating, we took another walk to look around the village. People started coming out as it got dark to sit around the fire pit and it looked like a lot of fun. But we were tired from a full day of traveling, so we did settle in. I fear we'd look around a little bit more in the morning. We'll say, in the morning is when the village seems the most magical. You and I, when we booked this, were both a little worried that it was going to be uh, a little over the top. Yeah. Was it? Uh, I would say it was over the top, honestly. It was kind of just like here. Yeah. It's, I will say, I'm really impressed with the architecture and the theming, and even the flower beds outside are all like perfect. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually, I think. It's pretty cool. Lots of little hidden details. We won't show them all in the video so people come, they have some surprise. But, um, but I think there's a lot of neat stuff to do here. I mean, a neat little stop. Yeah. Would you come again? That's the question. Yeah, I would definitely come here again. I think it's neat. Uh, of course, I'm a big JR Token fan. I know it's not JR Token. I got sued by them. Yes, but uh, but it's pretty darn cool, and uh, I, I I really like it. I think your sister would like it. Yeah. All right. So I would say, worth it. Do it. I would say, come check it out and decide for yourself. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, let's get back on the road. And with that, our trip was over, but I have a feeling we'll be back. 
highly recommend you staying. We'll leave a link below so you can get more information.